All right, so these are the patch notes right now for PTS Season 1. One. Let's go through them. Obviously, we have the new rogue, Kestrel. Her, she has two new primary weapons, neither that we've seen before. I was looking through them. I, I mean, all these numbers, we'll see how they actually do in-game. I have no idea. We'll find out. I feel like the Knight SMG might actually be strong with 12 range and 22 body damage. I feel like this thing could absolutely destroy people. We'll see, though. I, I don't I don't know about this one. Watch it. I saw that one in the uh, trailer for Season 1. I felt like it didn't look great, but this thing could demolish people. We'll see. P12K, secondary, okay. A new melee weapon. Just a new melee weapon. Adrenaline shot. And bounce grenade. No fucking idea what this thing does. Like, not a single clue. But adrenaline shot. We know what that does. Be interesting to see how this kit works. I think that nobody will really know how to play this character correctly for at least a few days or two, a few days to a week, maybe even two after this patch comes out, everybody will kind of be playing her. I don't know. I, I would say incorrectly, but I don't know what correctly and incorrectly is going to be yet. We'll see, though. Her perks, everything standard, Berserker, Patter Steps, Stalker, Helping Hands, Replenish. Her perks are not great, except Resupply. Eliminating an enemy causes them to drop a supply kit. Picking up a supply kit re-equips your purchased gadgets. So if she has a fully upgraded uh, Bounce Grenade, and two adrenaline shots, she will get two more. Perks are okay there. Okay, not great. Not great. Her active ability is Halo Drones. Deploy a cluster of Halo Drones at your location that will fire barrage of rockets in the direction you are looking. I don't know how this will work, the mechanics-wise, but we'll see. Uh, I really don't know. It could be it could be OP. Could suck. Could just buy tenacity and eat them all. Like, I don't know. We'll see. Legends contract gain 1,000 extra cash per down. Okay, 1,000 extra cash per down. That would be really bad if somebody with Dahlia linked with her. And then Dahlia has Tenacity, Lifeline, and the uh, MXR, like round three. That would be strong. And there's a new mode coming out, Sabot a new limited time mode anyway. Sabotage. Both teams try to take control of a neutral bomb site and then whatever. 44 that matches best of five 40 tickets that's a lot of lives reach one time is seven seconds i do not have the patience for that but i'm sure the map will be fun no one team switch eyes around hand it's just a new mode all right battle pass i'm sure everybody's excited about this i am too season one battle pass is real company's first and filled with 50 rewards you can earn by simply playing the game learn battle pass levels work your way to the top unlock the hellfire protocol scorch two two different bundles are available Kind of like Fortnite did, they had the normal bundle that would start you at the first level, and then the second one, which will give you extra tiers to start out. They both do the same thing, pretty much. Try to kill it. This one, you just get 15 extra battle pass tiers to start. That's pretty much it. There's the two bundles. I'm guessing this one will be $10, and this one will be 25 just off of past experiences in other games, but we'll see if that actually is the truth or not. You are using boosts at various levels in the battle pass. These boosts will increase your base experience gained by 100% before bonuses. The only boost. Only one boost when you activate a time boost run based on time, even if you are offline. So you're going to want to use one of these if you plan on playing for a while straight. He's not going to one on the bottom left. All right. Reputation gain and leveling. With season one, we are moving the level reputation earned per match and providing in a different way to fly. Rewards given each level an increase by 100%. Contract rewards have been increased significantly. Contract renewal will now provide you with three contracts at once per day instead of one every. Okay. All right, here's some rogue balances, or maybe yeah, rogue balances. This is what we're really here for. Fixed some issues that prevent an anvil from deploying his barricade in various places. Hopefully, Icarus uh, A bomb site is fixed, and some other places. It should be easy, but they've done this a few times, and he's still been buggy. So we'll see how it works. Lancer quick and quiet no longer provides mini bat detection immunity, so Talon Dart will be able to see the Lancer, which is huge. And increased charge on quick and quiet from 30 seconds to 45 seconds. It's awesome. I hate getting shot in the back by her. It's very annoying. Phantom no longer has an LT12. An Aaron LT12. She has a Nightshade. This could be crazy on some maps. She could be absolutely disgusting on some maps. We'll see. But just throw that smoke at a corner. You have an automatic gun to run in. Kill everybody. It's She's going to be strong. 
I don't think she's going to be as strong as everybody's freaking out that she will be. But I think she's going to be good. Ronin Ballistic Knife now deals. I think this is a great change for Ronin. Because after, after like round three, when everybody has tenacity, round three, round four, she kind of loses her place because the dart doesn't kill anybody. Her nade doesn't kill anybody. She's just smoking stuff off and running it down with her gun. Now with this direct dart being able to actually kill people with tenacity, it makes her a little bit better. Not a lot better, but just a little bit, which is great. Satan no longer has trip mines, which are replaced by C4. Uh, is gonna, I think that's good. Now Satan has a way of actually defending himself if he's getting ran at by the whole team. So we have that. Scorch, ability, retime, ability, recharge time, 30, 45 seconds. We like that. All right. Trench barbed wire. Players now, players have two charges of barbed wire instead of one. Size reduced from nine meters to four meters. Can no longer be destroyed with melee attacks. So now you're going to need to have a character with EMPs. Probably. So that's going to be... That's going to be tough. Trench is going to be annoying. We'll see exactly. It's only four meters. So he's going to have to put them in really good spots. But that's going to be annoying to deal with. We'll see though. All right. Weapon balances. The dead eye on Talon and everybody's favorite fixer. Increase headshot damage by four. Increase body damage by four. Increase fall off damage at max ranges. I mean, that gun's, it's, it is what it is. It's just a three bullet to the body, two bullets then. Anyways, where do you put the code in for PTS? If you want to join the PTS, put it in your Epic Games store and redeem a code there. Executioner, reduce fall off damage at max range. It still needs more nerfs. That gun's nasty. The Mark IV, this weapon no longer uses a scope, but ADS in first person. Its body damage is reduced by 20 to 19. So it takes six bullets instead of five. If you hit all body shots, I think that's a good change now that the scope is taken away. Could have been really bad if he was five bolting people. Uh, the MXR fixed an issue with the MXR's fire rate. Where efficient issue that increased the mxr fire rate now 4.7 headshot damage reduced by four body damage reduced by two that thing does i don't think it's the damage nerfs it needs i think it's a fire rate nerf but let's see and slc slightly reduce vertical kick i feel like this has been in every single patch we'll see how it works but that is that is season one what do we think